I will uh, call the meeting of the uh, Public Improvements Committee to order August 10th, 2020, 1 p.m. Madam Clerk, would you call the roll, please? Yes, Madam Chair. Council Member Days. Here. Council Member Fitch. Here. Council Member Clancy. I am here. Madam Chair, you have a quorum. Thank you very much. I want to also say that we uh, have been joined by our colleague, uh, Councilman Prakis. So we will uh, move forward. The committee takes the notice of and admits into evidence all St. Louis County ordinances and resolutions. The purpose of this meeting uh, is to hear public comment on the petition for establishment of the 4325 Butler Hill Road Community Improvement District received by the Acting Administrative Director on July 10th, 2020, and received and filed by the County Council on July 14th, 2020, and to make any necessary findings and recommendations to the County Council regarding this petition. So uh, first we will hear from our uh, um, Acting uh, Administrative Director. Thank you, Madam Chair. I have received the petition for establishment of the 4325 Butler Hill Road Community Improvement District on July 10th, 2020. I thereafter advised the County Council that the petition complies with the applicable criteria set out in section 67.1421 of the SID Act. I am submitting a copy of the verified petition, which I have in my hand as exhibit one. Notice of this hearing was given in conformity with the SID Act. I am submitting a copy of the notice of hearing, which was published in the St. Louis County, and I have that here as Exhibit 2, which was mailed to each owner of record of property with the boundaries of the proposed district, and that is submitted into the record as Exhibit 3. I'm done, Madam Chair. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we will now hear from the uh, petitioner. I will recognize, I believe it's Mr. Ayers. Is there? Caller. Caller, yes. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, no problem. So we will explain and uh, give us the information about the proposed district. Thank you. All right, as noted, uh, we're here virtually today to talk about and request approval of the 4325 Butler Hill Community Improvement District. Next slide, please. The uh, property itself is located in District 6. Uh, if you're familiar or not, it's actually located in what is part of what we call the Schnooks Shopping Center at 55 and Butler Hill Road. The district itself is actually in the northeast corner of that development. Right now it's parking lot and grass. Um, just to note that Butler Hill Center was developed 30 years ago by Desco and that this lot has never been developed further than grass and parking lot. Next slide, please. Uh, this gives you the aerial view of the district that would be the crosshatch part there again up at the northeast corner of the property. Next slide, please. Proposed development of the property is a Rosalita's Cantina. Developers are the McGowan Brothers Development. There are two Rosalita's restaurants currently operating. One's in De Pere, located at De Pere Road and Manchester. They're near the uh, De Pere Community Center there and across Manchester from the Marcus Theater slash Old Werenberg Theater Complex and one on Washington Avenue in the city. Next slide, please. Although it's small, this is kind of the survey, the plat of what this would look like, development itself, how the building sits, the patio area, the parking around it, uh, the plat, and if anyone would like to see it in a larger form, we can get it to you. Uh, I think Councilman Trakas has it already as well. Next slide, please. And I'll be happy to pass that along if any of you want it. These, uh, this is the 
both the front and the patio elevations that are proposed, um, and these are similar if you've been or care to go by the De Pere location, these elevations are similar to what the De Pere store or De Pere location looks like. Uh, the location downtown is obviously going to be a little bit different because it's located within a uh, a rehab certified or a rehabbed um, historic building. So it has a has a different facade, much uh, much different than this. But this is the proposed facade, uh, and again, similar to the location in De Pere. Next, please. Again, it kind of looks like some kind of alien creature on the screen here because it's a little smashed up, but it gives you uh, an idea of a layout of what uh, from interior wise this looks like and how it, how it would be laid out um, on the, in, within the space itself there. Next slide, please. Again, this next series is just kind of a, a it gives you a, a better visual. Again, this is the De Pere location and kind of shows you the finishes that are proposed. Next slide, please. And again, this one is uh, kind of some of the outdoor patio area finish that would be proposed. Uh, next slide. And this is, and there is a kind of a, what I call a proposed crossover area. It's, it's outside, but it's also covered. So it's available while well, in St. Louis, probably three seasons a year. Next slide. Another patio photo. Next slide, please. Interior finish. And next slide, please. We're requesting uh, the approval of this petition, which would implement a 1% SID sales tax within the district. There would be no property tax assessment. There would be no special assessments incorporated here. Again, it's just a 1% sales tax um, that would be imposed on really just on this business in this location and self-imposed on those who choose to frequent the restaurant. So it would only be charging the customers within the district, which in this case is within the restaurant. Next, please. Um, the use of the funds, use of the SID funds is to include site work, utilities, and other public improvements. Substantial uh, utility work and site work has to be done uh, in order to develop this to 2020 code. Supporting ideas regarding this, and I will probably be stealing some of Councilman Trakis' thunder here, but we've got 105 new employees that would be new to District 6, 55 full-time and 50 part-time. Uh, estimated impact to the county itself is a little over $100,000. Um, property taxes, uh, estimated budget uh, is going to be, obviously property taxes are going to be higher than they are in this unimproved uh, parcel at this time, estimated project budget of about $7 million. Uh, so you're going to see a substantial increase in the property taxes themselves. Uh, utility taxes on unincorporated St. Louis County, there are none to the side now, so there will be an increase there as well. Next, please. And maybe we'll have questions in a minute, but I want to thank you for your time and consideration and request that the committee recommend the approval of the formation of the district. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have one question I wanted to know about your design and now that we're in the 19 era, uh, it, are you going to be able to do the social distancing as, and, and all the other things uh, that, that have come around because of the COVID-19 pandemic? Yes. So um, obviously we'd be operating within or the McGowan's would be operating within any restrictions that are required. So what up? And, and, and frankly, we're looking uh, for probably the beginning of 2022 to really be operating. So good Lord willing, we have a vaccine by then and we're not talking about COVID-19 anymore. Um, but they, the McGowan's have operated both the downtown and the DePere location in compliance with 
the orders that are in place and they're actually using the more stringent orders uh, from the county downtown as well. So yeah, the short, long answer is yes, we can comply with whatever requirements are put into place. Thank you very much. Let me see if any of my committee members have any questions. Any questions, thank you, uh, committee? Yes, Madam Chair. Councilwoman? Um, and this is a question either for you, Mr. Allers, or for Councilman Trakis. Um, Have you gotten any feedback from the immediate neighborhood about this potential development? What do, what do the neighbors have to say about this? Uh, I can speak to the commercial neighbors, not the neighbors living in homes. Uh, obviously, the McGowan Desco has certain development rights that are of record related to this site as they developed it and subdivided the property, uh, both at the beginning and the later phase. Uh, and Desco slash Schnooks is on board with the development. As to residential neighbors, I know that the McGowan's at some point reached out to them, especially those that would be the closest, uh, with very limited uh, feedback from them uh, because they reached out to them via correspondence. Uh, Councilman Trakis, I don't have any other information other than mm -hmm. this to the residents. I can, I can Councilman tell you. Trakis, can you respond to that? Yes, I Thank can you. tell you that um, to this point, I've had only positive feedback from constituents regarding the uh, development of Rosalitas at that location. Um, it hasn't been a great deal of feedback, but what I have received um, has all been positive. Thank great. you. Thank you. Thank Madam you. Chair. Any other questions? Madam Chair. Councilman. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Matt, just a couple questions. I'm familiar with this piece of ground. Uh, and it's i'm happy to hear it's finally going to develop after so many years uh will it still be owned by desco no actually it wasn't owned by desco it's actually owned by a real estate special purpose entity that is the mcgowan brothers in partnership uh, so uh it's got a big long llc name that owns it now rosalita's stl south county real estate development llc something to that effect the petitioner is the landowner at this time uh, Desco hasn't held it for some time. It was held by uh, another individual slash LLC that at some point was considering developing that site with a hotel, which never happened. So that's who the McGowan's acquired the ground from. And generally speaking, I'm against CIDs. Uh, I do think there are exceptions to some, and this seems like to be one of those that I would make that exception because it's an undeveloped piece of ground. I heard you say that it would not uh, develop if it wasn't for the incentive. And I think that's a big part. The only question I have left for you is, I have one CID in my council district that has been up and running for about three years now, and they've never spent any of the CID money on anything but attorney's fees. <laughs> no improvements to the grounds, none of that. What's the plans for this piece of property, how you're gonna spend the CID revenue? But the, the SID revenue really is only going to be created through the sales tax itself. So if these guys don't open their business, don't operate the restaurant, don't build it literally from below the ground up, there is no revenue to be spent on me or any other attorneys. So they're in the business of operating restaurants and those funds are going to be used for infrastructure, utilities and other public improvements in the district. Okay, that's all I have, Madam Chair. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Um, any other questions? We will now move on to the Department of Planning uh, for their comments or presentation at this point. The Department of Planning does not have a presentation and we have no comments. We are okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we will now, uh, I don't believe we had any public comments. Uh, uh, um, Diane? No, Madam Chair, there were no public comments submitted. Okay, all right. So right now it looks like uh, Councilman Trakas, do you have any comments at this particular point? Thank you, Madam Chair. And I would just like to say, and I won't reiterate much of Mr. Aller's presentation, obviously, but I am supportive of this particular um, project. I do think that it will improve this area. Actually, I think it'll improve all of District 6, frankly. Uh, we don't have many um, um, establishments like Rosalita's, so this will be a great addition. 
obviously additional jobs, um, revenue, potentially significant real estate tax revenue. So I, I think there's all positives with this, and I would um, request that the committee approve the uh, request for the CID. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. And have, with that being said, I would entertain a motion from a uh, council member regarding this petition. Madam Chair, I will make a motion that the PIC recommend the full council approval of the CID. Second. Thank you very much. It has been moved and second. And uh, let me pause here for a second, Diane. Do we need to include any other information uh, with this motion? I think that Maggie provided a longer motion. Um, I'm going to defer to Maggie and ask her if the motion that Councilman Fitch put forth is sufficient. I think typically our, uh, the, uh, a report of the PIC is submitted to the council um, at the time, you know, the uh, ordinances or before the at the time the ordinance is introduced and that was the only thing that I thought you might want to include in that. I'm having difficulty in hearing you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was too. Can you hear me now? It's better. better. Okay. Um, I, I think the motion is fine the way it is. I think you could include okay. if you wanted to that the administrator or acting administrative director prepare a report of this committee that is forwarded to the council. Councilman Fitch, are you amenable to that? Yes, ma'am. I'll amend my motion to include that uh, part of the uh, my original motion. Thank you. And does your second still stand, uh, woman? Councilwoman Clancy? Yes, my second still stands. Thank you very much. It has been moved and second that we uh, adopt the um, um, petition that it has been established and we will prepare a report uh, to the full council for its approval. All in favor, please. Uh, I think we do we have, we have a roll call. I believe we do. Yes, ma'am. A roll call. Roll call, please. Council member Days. Aye. Council member Fitch. Aye. Council member Clancy. Aye. Madam Chair, on the motion stated, there are three ayes. Thank you very much. And by your affirmative motion, we will uh, forward this information to the full council for ratification. Any other business to come before the committee at this time? Hearing none, I had need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any no? Motion approved. Thank you. We have adjourned. Thank you very Thank much. You, Thank you. Thank you.